hello friends welcome to my channel if you're new make sure you subscribe and hit the bell that comes right after subscribing if you're returning thank you so much i love you so today we're going to learn how to make this fichetti right here others call them bikokoto others fitai so stay tuned first i'm going to add two cups of flour flour whatever then i'll add a quarter cup of sugar two tablespoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of baking soda or bicarbonate of soda. Then I'll take my lemon, cut it and squeeze, <laughs> yeah, squeeze that juice in. And then I'll take the smallest tablespoon of salt, okay, and mix all that up. When I feel that it's ready enough, I start adding water and mixing using my hand this dough should look like that one for mandazi so i'll just add water and flour add water and flour until i feel that i have the results that i want I will continue kneading until I feel that it's ready. Then after I'm done with that, I will add two tablespoons of warm oil and mix that all together and my dough will be ready. I will then put that in my bowl and cover that, and wrap that here and wrap that and leave it for at least 30 minutes. This is what it looks like after 30 minutes. I feel that when you leave your dough for some time everything gets to settle in together really well. So I prefer doing it all the time. So now I'm going to sprinkle some flour on my rolling space and then I'm going to cut a bit of the dough and start rolling it. When you roll it, you should not let it be so thin. Just do it as you can see. And then after you're done, you start cutting your pieces. Your vichettes. <laughs> okay. Just cut into any shape. If you prefer circles, do it. If stars, do it. I prefer squares and, you know, uneven shapes. I do it. Just do your thing. After you're done, repeat the same thing for all your dough, like until it's all done. So here I put my oil on heat and let it stay for about 5 minutes before I started adding my vichettes. Your oil should not be so hot, it should be like the one for samosas. After your oil is ready, you can now start adding your vichettes. Add as many as they can fit. And keep on turning them until they are ready, until, the, until you get that color that you want.
So now this is the color that I prefer. Let me show you. This is the color that I prefer and now I remove my vichettes from my oil and add my rest. That is what you should do for all your vichettes. Like repeat the same process until you're done. So now to make your sugar syrup, you should add water to your superior and add the same amount of sugar. Like if you add one cup of sugar, add one cup of water. If you add two cups, add two cups. Like they should all be equal so that your syrup can be good enough. You add that and let it boil until all the sugar has melted. <laughs> yeah. This is what your syrup should look like when it's ready. It should have that consistency of oil. And when you try it on your finger, it should stick. Like the one I'm showing you there. So now you put off your heat. And start adding your vichettes to that. Just like I'm showing you. Add enough. You know? Then start mixing that until the syrup is on all the vichettes. So continue mixing. At this point I prefer using my spoon because it does it really well and really fast. So mix, mix, mix until the syrup is in all your vichettes. Just do as you can see me do. You know it's really easy. And I know when you bought the vichettes you thought, hey, it's hard. How do they make these vichettes? But now you know it's so easy. Everyone can do this. And I preferred not using cardamom powder because I really wanted everyone to try this. Like I wanted to show you without the cardamom powder because it might be a bit difficult for some to access it. And our vichettes are so ready. Some prefer calling them bicocotto, others prefer calling them bitai. Whatever you call them, they are so ready. Yeah, and I enjoy. They are so sweet, by the way. If you really liked this recipe, make sure you subscribe and share it to your friends and family so that they can try it as well. And make sure you try doing this, okay? And please like, comment, you know, and share. <laughs> and that's it for this video. So bye. Till next time.